Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Bandai America Legacy Black Ranger. So this is that six slash six and a half inch line of figures, which are kind of like superhero versions, if you want to call them that, of the various Power Rangers. I decided after getting the Green Ranger, I would go ahead and collect all of the MMPR figures, because... I uh, grew up on that, so I figured I might as well. And it's a pretty cool line of figures. Some people don't like the musculature and the proportions because it doesn't look like the Power Rangers. It looks more like comic book characters, but I think that's okay. It's supposed to be that way, and it's kind of fun. So that's why I'm going to collect them, and that's why I'm going to review them. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands roughly six and three quarter inches, which makes him just about... Just about 17 centimeters, right around there. And I know what people are saying, that's not the right size, they're too big. But realistically speaking, most Marvel Legends, most of the DC figures, are actually about this size too. So they, they're they definitely a little bit taller than the Power Rangers should be. But if you're trying to keep them in scale with your comic book collections, these will work well enough. Definitely okay in that regard. They do have that enhanced musculature, which most Power Rangers never had. They both basically just looked like... Uh, guys in spandex without any big muscles or anything, but that's what this line is supposed to be, so I'm okay with it personally. Uh, this guy does not come with the accessories that the Green Ranger did in that he only has the uh, blade blaster. Is that what they're called? I always forget the forget the name of this primary weapon. I don't know why I forget it, but I do. They only come with that. They don't have any interchangeable hands or anything else. And I guess technically if you want to count the holster, that's an accessory too, but uh, that's it. So this is it. This is the accessory, and it's... It's fine. It's not. Uh, it's not impressive. It's not bad. If I can get it out of the holster, there it is. There's not like a ton of detail in it. I'm not even gonna bother using a photo for it. You guys can see that right there. That's the accessory. It does have some silver, which is nice. It does have the red and the white, and it's not terribly sculpted. It's just not. Not anything special, and they can hold it, but that's about it. No gun version, and that's, that's it. What you see is what you get. Now, the paint job on this guy is surprisingly good. Maybe it's not perfect, but you can see the, the line work on the black and the white. There's no real bleeding anywhere. It's pretty clean. You have a little bit of an issue up here, but just the tiniest little bit. You can see the face mask all looks really nice. The white lines are very clean. The silver is nice and shiny. I'm very pleased with it. You can see down here on the belt... The sculpt is maybe a little bit soft, but you can make out the mastodon, and you can see that it's painted very cleanly. And then the diamonds throughout. There's a little bit of wiggliness here and there due to the sculpt, but for the most part, it's it's considerably well done. And I want to point out again that the gloves and the boots are actually molded in white, so the only thing painted is the black, which it's very easy to paint black over white, so I'm very, very happy about that. They did paint the white on the torso, it, it looks like, but they did a really good job of that, so... Once again, very pleased with this line of figures. For the price point, it's very, very nice if you're okay with the uh, with that stylization. In terms of articulation, they're also pretty darn good. You have the hinge and the peg for the neck, so it can look up, no problem. Looks very nice when it's doing so, I might add. Looks all the way down and full rotation. There's no play side to side because it's not a ball peg, it's just a straight peg, but it works very nicely. For the shoulders, we have a standard ball hinge. They don't go that far out to the side. Maybe I can force it. Nope, can't force it. But, I mean, it's almost all the way out. just looks a little bit weird. But they have the full rotation. And I want to point out, the sculpt work on the chest is a little boxy and narrow. But that is so that you can bring the arms across the chest a little bit without the use of a butterfly joint. Which, I don't think that's too bad. I mean... The chest does look a little bit weird when it's just standing there, but once he's posed, it's going to be fine, and I like that versatility in the shoulder joint. You can also bring the arms straight down if you want to, maybe maybe even a little bit too much because you can see there's a kind of a gap there the way it's offset, but it's okay. And then for the bicep swivel, that's fine. Double jointed elbows work very well. We have a swivel here, not that you'll need it, but it is there. And then, of course, you have a full ball hinge for the wrist, which is very nice. We don't see that on domestic figures too often, so that's really cool. Then we have a nice ab crunch. It's not the best. It's not the best looking. It doesn't have the most range, but it's fine. And they did paint the diamond underneath, so that's good. And they do lean pretty far forward. So all in all, that's okay. We have a waist twist, which works just fine. And then for the hips, it's really just a ball peg, but it functions like a T-jointed uh, ball hinge. You can get the leg not all the way forward, but probably far enough. And then you can get them all the way out to the side. So a kicking pose should be no problem at all. And then you have that nice thigh swivel that's it's a little stiff, but it's functional. So that's good. You have your double jointed knee, which works very well. No complaints there. 
We have a boot swivel if you want that. I had to actually rotate my legs around. You know, I'm not sure about the sculpt. I mentioned this in the Green Ranger. The way it has this curvature to it, it looks weird to me. Uh, I don't know. It could go either way. I, I can see, I mean, your shin bone kind of does curve forward like that, and your calf muscle would make it look like it curves like this. But to me, it looks better to have that boot like that. So I would rotated it around, and I think it's better that way, but... It's going to be up to you. The, the sculpt is very soft for the lower leg, so there's not much definition to really go off of. For the ankle, we have a pretty nice hinge. The feet go pretty far forward, pretty far back, and if you kind of play with it, you can get them to go even farther. I think I can probably do that up top too. Yeah, so you can get the feet to move really well. I don't know, like these are way better than Marvel Legends in terms of articulation, so I don't get that. I don't understand why Hasbro hasn't figured that out yet. And you have the uh, ankle rocker, which is still just like the Marvel Legends. So all in all, I mean, they did a really good job, especially for Bandai of America. We don't often get collectible figures from them that are like this. And I'm very pleased with it. The ball hinge wrists, the really nice ankle range, everything else works nicely. I mean, sure, it's a little stylized and... Maybe a little uh, proportionally challenged if you want it to be accurate, but for what it is, it, it, they did a really good job. I'm very pleased with it. I think you guys will be too, so uh, I think you should probably pick them up. Yellow Ranger and White Ranger are not yet released, but I'm going to probably track those down. I'm going to do my best anyway. I'll also be reviewing the Pink Ranger and the Blue and Red. Those are all coming out. I mean, I already have them. They're already on their way. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I have new videos up every single day. Uh, we talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you turn on notifications so that you actually see that stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.